So this is kind of a neat little device I've made here. What it does is uh, get a nice little rainbow color when you press this button. But the cool thing is, is that I built it with this uh, this little Bluetooth board made by uh, Punch Through Design. And um, if you go into the app, they actually give you a way of uh, sandboxing into uh, this the Bluetooth device. And um, I've set it up so you can control the lights from there. Uh, and um, so you go into sandbox. Now, if I change this, we have the ability to change red amounts and blue amounts and green amounts. And, um, and then I even have a little thing here that lets you cycle through. It's a lot of fun. You kind of cycle through here the, the different colors. Now, um, I'll try to show you how I made this. So how this works inside is um, I got everything fit into a little Tic Tac box. And um, uh, what you can do is open it up. And it's really just got a few different little things in here. Uh, first is... Um, this obviously is the strip, the NeoPixel strip that uh, I got from Adafruit. Um, then we have... Uh, in order to drive it, um, you need a few. You need a few extra things. Uh, so what I have is uh, to power the strip, which needs five volts. I have this little Polulu um, step up, step down uh, regulator, and um, and it's actually controlled from the bean so that when nothing's being displayed, uh, it can actually power that thing down entirely. And then to take the logic levels up to five volts from the three volts of the um, of the uh, the bean, I have this little uh, bi-directional um, uh, level converter. It probably doesn't matter what you use; just you just need something that will get it up to five volts. Um, and then uh, just so that I can try to recharge it in the future. I'm using this little backpack that Adafruit sells. Uh, it it basically will let me eventually charge the charge the whole thing from from uh, from another source. So it's both a charger and a power sort of a power distribution thing. Um, and then this bean itself is just wired up to um, shut down the the power converter when we're not showing anything on the NeoPixels. Uh, listen to the button and do a few other things. And uh, it's pretty simple to write out all the code. I tried to add a vibration sensor to it as well. That's this thing, but that, that didn't work. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, anyway, yeah.